everybody wants to know about the name Aaron Judge and what's the latest, what's happening. Jack, what do you know? All right, it's the biggest story in baseball right now, and obviously Yankee fans are waiting for any kind of an update. Here's what we can tell you about what's going on between Aaron Judge and the Yankees. These are active negotiations. These are ongoing negotiations. The Yankees feel positive about their situation. There's a level of optimism. On Monday night, we talked about how the Yankees had likely offered something in the eight-year, $300 million range which is much higher than the offer they had made earlier to him this season of seven years in the $215 million range. The other thing about what's going on, though, now, Flash, is the player dictates the pace of these negotiations and the potential of something happening because it's the player who is meeting with teams and deciding, well, is this where I want to go and is this when I want to sign? Jack, one of the complaints that everybody has with Major League Baseball when we get to this time of the year, free agency takes so long. You feel like every free agent out on the market is waiting for Aaron Judge to make a decision on where he wants to play baseball for probably the next eight years. So if I was an agent, I would be telling all of my outfield clients, hang Hang in there. Let's wait to see what Aaron does. And, you know, actually to expand on that, if I'm a big shortstop or maybe a big free agent pitcher, I would have the same advice for my client. Wait to see what Aaron Judge does. When he makes his decision, the Yankees might have to pivot. They might have their man. A lot could happen on one man making his decision on where he wants to play baseball. Now, we know Yankees fans want just a little bit more. So just timetable, even though the player dictates it. A few years back, we saw Garrett Cole sign. I think it was night two. Uh, with the Yankees of the winter meetings. Could you see something happening with Judge in San Diego next week? Well, Bob, I'm looking into my crystal ball, and a lot of this is a gut feeling, but I'm going to answer your question with a yes for this reason. Both Cashman and Hal Steinbrenner have been very demonstrative and very vocal in talking about how important Judge is to them and how much the Yankees want to sign him. And Hal Steinbrenner has had one-on-one -on -one conversations with Judge. Judge has talked about the winter meetings. He has raised that as a timeline when he has discussed the offseason. So for the Yankees, it would be wonderfully fitting if three years after they signed Garrett Cole in San Diego, if they could now go and sign number 99 as well. Jack, you might be able to educate us. I've only heard of a few teams that are interested or at least publicly saying they're interested. The San Francisco Giants, the New York Yankees. Are there any other teams? And if it's only those two, don't you think it would make the decision or the process that's a lot more simple. Well, we always have the mystery team, which we have not heard in the Aaron Judge discussions. And Flash, I think you're right. He met with the Giants. There has been talk about the Dodgers being interested. Obviously, they're both West Coast teams where he comes from. But it's the Yankees who have been out front the most in talking about their offer, at least saying that they made an offer. The number came out after that. So I think you're right, Flash. You're not going to meet with five other teams that you have no interest in potentially signing with. That's why I think within the next week, we potentially could see a signing. Jack, just curious, that crystal ball you have, do you keep that in your desk drawer or do you like carry it around like a bowling ball? Well, you know, I, I have it under here right now. It's got a big picture of my face on it. No, we, we all want to have crystal balls at this time of the year. I mean, I've covered baseball for more than 30 years and the off season has sometimes as much excitement and much intrigue as the regular season does. And I'm actually eager to go to the winter meetings. It has not happened or it has not formally occurred since 2019. And if you want to see a bunch of baseball buzz and baseball activity, it'll be in San Diego next week.